In this video, we will be studying how to calculate the standard deviation in case of individual series using the direct method, shortcut method and the step deviation method. So in this video, we uh, will show this question we will solve using the direct method. Now, first we have to calculate the mean in case of direct method. So let's calculate the mean of the series. How we used to calculate the mean? Summation of x divided by n. So the number of observations are 10. And this summation, if we add all the items, we get 110. So summation is 110. So we got the mean 11. Now what we will do? We will take the small x, which is the x minus x bar it is the deviation of x from the mean so let's take the deviation 12 minus 11 1 minus 3 6 2 4 minus 2 7 0 5 minus 5 minus 10 now after taking out the deviation we take the square of the deviation square 1 square 1 3 square 9 6 square 36 2 square 4 4 into 4 16 2 square is 4 7 square is 49 0 square is 0 25 and 100 now we will add all these we will get the answer is 244 so the formula of standard deviation in the direct method is standard deviation is equal to it is the under root of the sum of the squares of the deviation taken from the mean divided by the number of observation. So this we have find out summation x square which is 244 divided by n that is 10 which is 24.4 so the answer is 4.94 right now if I have to find out the square or the variance what we will do 4.94 square that will be 24.4 itself and if I have to find out the coefficient of variation the calculations coefficient of variation what we will do Standard deviation divided by mean into 100. So your standard deviation is 4.94. Your mean is 11 into 100. So it goes out to be 45%. So this is your direct method. You have to do nothing but you have to take out the x bar as first which is mean. Then you have to take the deviation that is x minus x bar. Then you have to take the square of deviation and then you will add the square of deviation. You will get this answer and then you have to put it in the formula. Now we will study about the step deviation method. Now what we do in step deviation method? When we had to find out the mean, we used to take the assumed mean. Right? So, now what we will do, we will simply take the assumed mean, deviation from the assumed mean, not the actual mean but the deviation from the assumed mean. Then we will find out the square of deviation. In direct method we uh, took the deviation from exact mean, here we will do the assumed mean. After that we will take the square of the deviation then we will find out the sum of the deviation and the same way we will have this formula and this is under root dx square summation divide by n minus dx Summation divide by n and whole square. 
first you'll find out the dx you will add dx you'll get summation dx then n you know the number of series you will do the square of dx you will find out the summation dx square now let's see how we will do this I am taking here the assumed mean as 20 because it's easy to subtract from 20 which has 0 at the end. So I am taking the deviation x minus a. This is my assumed mean 20. So 8 minus 20 is minus 12. 10 minus 20 is 10 minus 12 my uh, so 12 minus 20 minus 8. 14 minus 20 minus 6. 16 minus 20 minus 4. 18 minus 20 minus 2. 20 minus 20 is 0, 2, 4 and 6. At the end what we will find out? Summation dx which is equal to after adding all this we get the answer as minus 30. Now what we will do? We will find out the square of this deviation. 12 into 12 is 144. 10 into 10 is 100 because minus minus it's 2 times minus minus 12 into minus 12 so minus minus becomes plus and 12 into 12 is 144 8 8 are 64 then 36 then 16 then 4 0 4 16 and 36 now find out the summation dx square which is equal to 420 we find out all what we need for the formula so standard deviation is equal to under root summation dx square. So this is the summation dx square. This is 420 divided by n. The number of observations are 10. Minus summation dx divided by n. Summation dx is minus 30. Divide by n square. Right? So we have four twenty divided by ten minus if we do the square minus minus becomes plus, so it's nine hundred divided by hundred. So it's the under root forty two minus nine which is under root 33 so it becomes 5.74 so the standard deviation is 5.74 in this way you have to find out the standard deviation using the step deviation method I'm sorry the previous method we did the taking deviation from the assumed mean was a shortcut method simply the way we used to calculate the mean now we will be doing the step deviation method. So it's the income, monthly income is given in rupees. So in the uh, shortcut method what you do, you just take the deviation from assumed mean. But in the step deviation what you do, you divide it by the common factor as well. So let's take this question. Now you will take assumed mean, I am taking assumed mean as 1000 from the series. So I'll get the deviation x minus assume mean 500 minus 1000 is 500 0 500 and then 300 Now what I will do I will take the common factor the other deviation that is x minus a divided by c the common factor we can see the common factor as 100 there is 100 as a common factor so we can divide it by 100 5 3 0 5 and 3 now what we will do we will add this summation d dash x which is 0 we will take the square of summation the same way we used to do in shortcut method the same way we will do here only one step is added that is you have taken the other deviation that is the common factor so it's 25 then 9 0 25 and then 9 now add this 
deviation you, which you have taken from the z mean after that you have divided with the common factor so we'll get this emission as 68 now your formula is the same now here you will take the summation deviation of x square divided by n minus summation d dash x divided by n whole square into your common factor so see in the shortcut method the assume was not was not added back because the standard deviation is not affected by the assume mean whereas it is affected by the scale which is your common factor so this is 68 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 minus 0 divided by 5 square so this is 0 so we'll get an answer as under root into 100 13.6 into 100 so we'll find out the under root we'll get an answer 368.78 so the standard deviation here is 368.78 so this is very uh, simple method to find out the standard deviation as it simplifies your calculation so i hope you have understood this do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us